Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best MMO mouse. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Rocket Leader XP MMO mouse. The gaming mouse has a symmetrical look to it. Although it's not fully ambidextrous, it can still be used by both right and left-handed people. Instead of the thumb pad we all know and love, the Rocket Leader has chosen quite a unique button layout. Of course, you have your standard right and left click, as well as a scroll wheel, which can tilt in both directions. But here's where it gets complicated. A paddle of sorts near the thumb on your right hand can move up and down as a sort of secondary scroll wheel. Other than that, there are a few extra buttons on the mouse's face. Two on the left side for the DPI settings, and two on the right that can change profiles. Oh, you thought we were done, did you? Insert menacing laugh here. This is way more than a gaming mouse with four side buttons. The rocket leader has an additional button just below the thumb groove, which activates its secret power. As long as you are pressing it down, it gives you access to a whole new set of commands, essentially doubling the buttons at your disposal. They don't call it a multi-button gaming mouse for nothing. Of course, all of these are programmable buttons on a game-to-game -game basis. But there is a slight problem with the ergonomic design, at least for me personally. The wireless mouse is too big for people with small hands, so people like me will have a tough time reaching the buttons. Other than that, it's pretty solid to the touch and comfortable despite it missing some rubber grips on the side. As you have probably noticed already, that is to say, if you've been paying attention, this is a wireless mouse that claims to have zero lag and almost zero latency. Although I was a bit skeptical at first, it worked perfectly during my tests. And it's not like other gaming mice haven't achieved similar results. The battery will last you the better part of 20 hours, and the transmission has a range of a little over 10 feet, so living room gaming is on the table. Number 7 in my list is Redragon M901 MNO Mouse. Taking inspiration from their former business partners turned competitors, the Redragon M901 has curves for days, and RGB lighting graces the thumb buttons, scroll wheel, logo, and the bottom of the mouse itself, truly a spectacle for the eyes. That is, if you haven't already seen this design somewhere else. There must be sacrifices for every budget mouse, and sadly, with the Redragon series, it's the recycled design. On the inside, most of their mice might have different functionalities, but they look strikingly similar on the outside. Even so, they have tried to make the gaming mouse as comfortable as possible. The ergonomic design of the body is covered in molded plastic and topped with a matte finish, while a groove on the right panel makes for the perfect resting spot for your pinky finger. The buttons themselves are quite numerous. This is still a budget MMO mouse after all. Each one is equipped with a mechanical switch that allows for greater durability and more satisfying clicks. While the side panel has a total of 12 buttons, the other six are located on the face of the mouse, and each and every one is programmable, of course. Number 6 in my list is Logitech G502 MMO Mouse. This MMO mouse has a kind of aggressive, game-like look to it. It looks every inch the premium mouse. The ergonomic design is covered in glossy black plastic topped with a matte-like material, while the sides and back are covered in latex grips. The MMO gaming mouse is big, like really big, so it's not fit for people with small hands or those who use a fingertip grip. Palm grip is perfectly fine, and a claw grip is perfect for this one. This is partly due to the mouse's many buttons and their layout. The button layout is sporadic, and yet it flows like a prism. I am not sure how a prism can flow, but the Logitech G502 achieves it. On the top side of the gaming mouse, there is something like a total of 10 buttons. You have your typical right-click button, left-click button, and a scroll wheel that does not tilt. But right below it, you will find a button that can adjust its resistance. So you can either take your time cycling through your weapons, or simply blast to the one you need. Number 5 in my list is SteelSeries Aerox 9 MO Mouse. Most MO models are pretty heavy compared to other gaming mice. 
the SteelSeries Aerox 9 Wireless has a honeycomb pattern of cutouts in its body to reduce its weight, and is our recommendation if you're looking for the best lightweight MNO mouse currently available. With a lighter mouse, you can make faster, more immediate movements in-game, which can be a real advantage for playing certain fast-paced titles. Despite looking more fragile than more conventional models, this mouse feels very sturdy. Number 5 in my list is SteelSeries Aerox 9 MNO Mouse. Most MNO models are pretty heavy compared to other gaming mice. The SteelSeries Aerox 9 Wireless has a honeycomb pattern of cutouts in its body to reduce its weight, and is our recommendation if you're looking for the best lightweight MNO mouse currently available. With a lighter mouse, you can make faster, more immediate movements in-game, which can be a real advantage for playing certain fast-paced titles. Despite looking more fragile than more conventional models, this mouse feels very sturdy. In terms of gaming performance, it has impressive click latency, and its sensor is very consistent and accurate. It connects wirelessly with its USB receiver or via Bluetooth and has an advertised battery life of up to 80 hours when connected with its USB receiver and up to 180 hours using Bluetooth. You can adjust certain sensor settings with the companion software, including CPI adjustments and lift-off distance. You can also fully customize the three RGB lighting zones. Unfortunately, while it's much lighter, it's still fairly large and bulky, so if you have small hands, you can't reach some of the buttons without repositioning your hand. Number 4 in my list is Evda X15 MNO Mouse. For an even cheaper option, we'd recommend the Evda X15. If you're currently reading this article and notice the price seems higher than some of our other options on this list, it can be worthwhile to check back in a few days as its price changes frequently. However, more often than not, its sale price makes it one of the most affordable options on this list. Unlike our other recommendations, this mouse has a unique set of 10 side buttons, and they aren't arranged in a grid pattern like the 12 button panels on most MNO mice. It also features a button for your ring finger, much like the Logitech G600 MNO gaming mouse. In terms of raw performance, this mouse has very low click latency and it's one of the few options currently available that supports polling rates higher than the standard 1000 Hz, with a maximum polling rate of 8000 Hz. Higher polling rates provide smoother feeling cursor movements, but using these settings does consume significant system resources. However, most modern machines can take advantage of 2000 Hz or even 4000 Hz settings without difficulty. This mouse has good overall build quality, but the body makes some creaking sounds if you apply enough pressure and the scroll wheel wobbles a bit, though this doesn't present issues during gameplay. Also, like most MNO models, this mouse is fairly heavy and bulky, so it isn't a great fit for smaller hands. Altogether, this mouse offers good all-around performance and some cutting-edge technology, typically exclusive to higher-priced options. Number 3 in my list is Logitech G600 MNO Mouse. The best MNO gaming mouse in the budget category we've tested is the Logitech G600 MNO Gaming Mouse. Like most MNO models, the G600 has a full 12 programmable button side panel, but its main feature is the third click button under the ring finger that toggles to a second programmable layer of commands. You can use the Logitech G-Hub software to program buttons and custom settings to one of three profiles that you can store on the mouse's onboard memory. The software is also compatible with both windows. It has impressively low click latency for its price point, and its sensor is very accurate, so you can be sure your movements are consistent whether you're just grinding or deep into ending content. Unfortunately, it's heavy and pretty bulky, so if you have smaller hands, you'll have difficulty reaching the third click button and some side buttons. It's also wired only, and the included braided cable isn't very flexible, and retains kinks from the packaging, which can cause drag. However, if you're looking for a high-performing mouse with a budget in mind, this mouse is a great bet. Number 2 in my list is Corsair Scimitar ML Mouse. For a mid-range option, we recommend the Corsair Stimitar RGB Elite. It feels very solid and has comfortable side grips and a pinky rest that can make a big difference during marathon gaming sessions. 
It has a full array of buttons, including a 12-button side panel, which you can slide forwards, making this a great MNO option for any hand size, which is noteworthy since most MNO mice are fairly large and typically aren't very accommodating to smaller hands. Using Corsair's companion software, you can precisely adjust your sensitivity settings, remap all buttons, and adjust the four independent RGB lighting zones. This mouse also has onboard memory, so you can save your custom settings and use them on computers without the software installed. Performance-wise, it has low click latency to ensure your games feel snappy and responsive. Despite its cable's high quality, it's relatively stiff and causes some drag on mouse pads and desks. That said, it's the best MNO gaming mouse if you're a die-hard wired connection fan and is one of the best wired mice we've tested. Users online have also identified that some units can suffer from a manufacturing defect where the mouse wheel stops working after a few months of use. This issue isn't widespread, and we're confident in keeping this mouse our best pick for this price point. But if you're interested in this mouse, we recommend purchasing it directly through Corsair or via an authorized reseller so you can return it under warranty if needed. Number one in my list is Razer Niva Pro MNO Mouse. For avid fans of the genre, the best MNO mouse is the Razer Nega Pro. It features a set of three interchangeable side panels, including a full 12-button panel. It's also built like a tank and has a comfortable right-handed shape with a pinky rest. While nearly all the MNO mice out there are designed for right-handed users, this mouse also has a left-handed version, though it's only available as a wired model. In terms of performance, this mouse has remarkable click latency and sensor performance, which means gameplay feels snappy and responsive, and cursor movements are consistent and accurate. You can connect this mouse wirelessly via Bluetooth or its USB receiver, and you can store this receiver inside the mouse when you're not using it. Razer advertises a battery life of up to 150 hours using Bluetooth and up to 100 while connected with the USB receiver. It includes robust customization software that lets you reprogram buttons and fine-tune sensor settings to suit your preferences. If you're interested in a less expensive option with the same basic design, the Razer Naga Trinity is the predecessor of the Naga Pro. It includes a set of three swappable side panels, including a 12-button panel for MNO gaming. However, it's a wired-only option and doesn't perform as well. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.